Hey everybody, it's Millie and you are here at Crafting in My PJs. Welcome. If this is your first time here, welcome, welcome. I'm so glad to have you. If you are a returning friend, then thank you. Thank you for coming back and seeing another video. This channel is dedicated to quick, easy crafts that anybody can do. No artistic talent required. Just, you know, shop at a store, a Dollar Tree, or shop in your house and find things you have laying around. Today's craft is a Dollar Tree craft, and we are gonna take some pieces that I have found at Dollar Tree, and we are gonna create a planner. It'll be a planner that is small, so it can fit in your briefcase, or in your purse, or in your backpack, any one of those places. Um, very usable, very functional. We're gonna start with really, really easy, and then we'll move up and we, we'll, I'll give you some suggestions that you can use to bump it up if you like. It's up to you. It depends on how much time you wanna spend. Um, there was something else I was going to tell you. What was it? Can't remember, but whatever. Let's get down to the table. All right, so now we're at the table. Let me show you what we're, our, the main part of our craft is. And it's one of these traveler's notebooks from Jot. And you'll notice it because it stands out from the other notebooks over there because it does have an elastic right here. And you'll see holes with elastics there. And when you open it up, there are two notebook sections on the inside. So, the other thing I purchased for this project from Dollar Tree is one of these Jot sticky note strips. You can make this yourself with some uh, post-it notes and just cut them down because you don't want them really thick. See, it's really thin and put them on a piece of cardstock or heavier paper or something like that to put in our book. And then the other thing I purchased was a um, two-year planner. So this one, I think, oh, I'm right there. I've just missed a couple of months, um, a planner. All right, and what other supplies might you need? You're gonna need probably some glue uh, if we you change this up in any way. Um, we, and if you don't change anything, then you don't need any more supplies except for a cutter or some scissors and a ruler. Um, but if you have some of some patterned or solid vinyl laying around, that might come in handy. We'll show you that in a minute. Or even some material if you want to go that route. So I'll show you that. That's kind of on the next step. So let's just start with our basics. So our basics look like this. This is another one of those notebooks. Um, I took this out because I'm gonna use it in the next section, but I have one notebook. Then I removed the second notebook, that's right here. Put it on the side, we can use it in something else. And then I took the uh, two-year planner and I trimmed it down at the top and at the bottom so it fit in here and just slipped it in in the middle and then what I did was I took one of these and I cut it in half like this Boom, just like that now you have a choice you can attach um, you can attach this well, a couple of things right here. You can glue this on. You can glue both of them on, one in the front and one in the back. But if that's too much for you, you know, one is fine. You can untie this tie right here and loop it through. But I have a feeling that might pop those holes. So I think I'm going to go with the gluing route. But before I do that, because if I need to replace these, at any time, I just get another sheet of post-it notes separated so it's only this thick, sort of, and then I glue it onto this 
backing. The inside cover is a nice material, so um, you really don't have to do anything else. I don't know about the durability of the cover. I don't know if it'll crack or anything, but um, it definitely makes unadorable. I'm not gluing this on right now because I want to show you um, what we might do. So let's take this one. I do like this cover and I'm going to leave this cover just like it is. So like I told you in the last one, we're just going to remove the notebook. We're going to take the um, planner. Let me grab my slicer. Scissors. Scissors would work just as well with a little bit of patience. So I'm going to pull out the big guns here. All right, and I'm going to keep it all together. I am not separating. I'm not taking the cover off. I'm not taking the staples out. None of that. One of these notes I'm trying to lose there. All right, so what I did was I eyeballed. Let me bring you closer. I eyeballed my calendar and I saw that without messing up anything, I could cut right there. And then I'm going to cut just at the words. So I want to try and keep the integrity of my calendar. So basically, it doesn't look like I did too much chopping on it. I mean, it's going to show a little bit, but so I'm just lining it up. Oh, let's see if I can switch it over. You know, it would be great too. Instead of doing, oh, do I have my box cutter? I do have my craft knife. I could use my craft knife and slice it. All right, except I don't know where I put it. I put it somewhere over there. Oh, well, let's do this. This is going to take a couple of, oops, sorry, a couple of passes. Oh, there you go, three, and we're done there. All right, that's one off. Let's take off the top. We do not need to cut the sides at all. There we go. All right. And if you are a junk journaler or a paper craft maker in any way, you could always save those and use them for another craft because they're nice and cute and colorful, you know, like nice pastels. All right. So there. Um, our calendar is ready and we just slip it back in just like that. Now it's still just a touch wider than the notebook, but that's okay. It fits in the cover and we're good. Just kind of center everything. All right. And now let's, let's go ahead. Um, I'm just going to use one of these in here and I'm actually, I would like it to be in the front so that if I'm working, I can pull tabs from there. So I am going to take some Fabrifix. Let's, oh, this is a brand new one. Let's not take a brand new one. Let's use up one we already have open. So, uh, tacky glue would be great. Um, I would not, probably not advise hot glue. Uh, you want something, E6000 would be fine. You want something with a little bit of oomph to it. I have to wait for my Fabrifix to move down. Fabrifix uh, adheres very quickly. Kind of get around that little hole. Right. Oh, 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 popping out more holes. There we go. Fabrifix adheres quickly and it has a pretty strong bond, especially fabric, paper, those items. So it's, it's a nice adhesion and this is this you could turn this any way you want so like if I want the holes that way even though we're not using them with the holes I can do that all right there you go this is literally finished this is our project you now have <laughs> you now have black pieces of cardboard cardboard stuck to your hand we have post-it notes we have a place to take notes. We have our calendar. 
it's all in a nice little cute um, cover and there it's ready to go that's it if you wanted to decorate it more like the cover you absolutely could I am not because it's going in my purse or my work bag so I don't want anything on the front that's going to possibly get torn off I'm going to take off this label right here and there you go now what if I wanted to up the game a little bit make it just I don't know a little bit different I don't really like this cover so what I did is I I took out <laughs> I took out let me bring you closer again I took out this uh, the, the closure I took that out I'm going to take this out and that of course and I'm going to carefully untie whoa that was so simple untie my elastic and my elastic runs through both. So let's look how that goes. All right, gotta remember that. All right, so let me just put that on the side. That's already cut and ready to go. All right, so now I have my cover. So if I wanna beef my cover up a little bit, I can take um, some, some vinyl. Now I have to bring you back out. I can take some vinyl and I know that that would give it more strength. And I could also do some material. What do you think? Material or vinyl? This is Dollar Tree material, by the way. The vinyl I already had in my stash. I want to see if it shows through. Oh, that's doubled. If it does show through, it's not a bad show through. Um, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and do the fabric. Let's go ahead and cut that. And I don't have my fabric scissors over here. This was one of the $1.25 squares of fabric that you get at Dollar Tree. We're going to cut it about an inch or so bigger. thought I had scissors. Hold on. Be right back. All right. I am back with the good scissors. Oh, these are not the, the best ones, but they are good still. They will cut fabric. I have special fabric scissors but they're over by the sewing machine, you know, because that would be logical. I'm not really measuring, but I am trying to keep this semi straight. And it is going to overlap our holes. So we're going to have to feel where the holes are and we're going to have to punch through. Shouldn't be a problem. All right. So let's use, let's see if there's an up or down. There is not an up or down. Let's peel this off. maybe maybe not all right we're not peeling that off the other one came off really easy all right what, is this my fabric fix i'm using all right again i'm using fabric fix this is not my well it's one that's open so we're going to use our fabric fix i want it really carefully around the holes and i want my edges though i'm going to fold it over And if you are a junk journaler, this would make a great little junk journal. You've got everything already there. Uh, let's put that on. Yep, that's about right. Let's spread it out. You have to be careful of your glue and the seeping through material and showing. Um, this one, I can see where the glue is, but I think it's going to be fine. We're going to take a nice little Cricut card or you can use a credit card or you could use a bone folder my label does show i'm not liking that but that's okay it's on the back all right there we are glued we are going to trim here just kind of a kind of a diagonal just so it doesn't give us a whole lot of bulk because we're going to fold this over like a book book uh, book cover. I guess, does anybody even do that anymore? I used to cover all my books with Schweigman's um, grocery bags. 
and by the time I got to college and I had uh, like more like kind of workbooks everything every workbook got covered with um, clear contact paper all right so there we go now we will also need to put something on the inside to kind of cover where the material ends so to say um, okay I'm gonna have to catch my edges my corners or hold on a second glue 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 Make sure those edges are down. <laughs> there we go. Um, or what we can do is we can take our can't use those scissors. Those are the material scissors. Well, they actually aren't, but just cutting this in half. And then we can glue this over like this. And that basically will cover our inside. I'm going to leave a little bit. And so if you want, we can put another piece Let's do the same material. Why not? That way, by putting another piece right here, we're giving it more strength. So, you know, this little $1.25 traveler's notebook will last you. A little bit more. You could use a different material. You could use, I don't know anything really all right so let's glue this down get this glued down so it um, so that we can cover our so we can cut out our holes All right, there you go. All right, so I have my crocodile, my broken crocodile. I actually have a brand new one, but I'm not sure where it is. So, okay, I'm gonna, I like I haven't opened it yet. Okay, I wanna feel where, in fact, let me take, let me take a pen or a pencil and make just a little mark where these are, where these holes are, oh. Am I going to be able to see that? How about a marker? Because it's going to punch out. Oh, that's a big marker. So one, two, then there's the middle one. And then there's three and four. Oop, I made a boo boo. Now the crocodile will punch through a lot. It is, it will punch through like cardstock, and I've even punched through like tin with it. So whatever is there, it will go through it. Okay. Right here. Right there. And five. All right. All right. 
Okay, so uh, what I want to do is I want to put my my uh, elastic back through. Let's see how easy this is going to be to string. Um, okay, so I need to go this way. Oh, would have been great if I had punched the holes the other way. No, it works. Goes right through. Okay, like that. And this. I realize how easy that was going to go through. Like that. And we're going to give it a little bit of a knot at the end, like it had. The two finger method. That worked the best. Okay, but I want this knot to go at the end. Okay. There we go. Did it. All right. So. Um, now, I'm going to put my books back in to see what this looks like. Oh, which way am I? Yeah. Well, it doesn't matter now, huh? I determine the direction everything goes in. And I'm going to slip this one in here. Just like that. Oh, my rainbows right there go well with the, the butterflies. And now... I'm going to take my Fabrifex and I'm going to glue the, the post-it note sheet in. And that's going to be our cover for that hole right there. Look how cool. And on this one, I am going to put the second post-it in there. Because one of this one probably is going to be the one I put in my... Uh, bag I am putting the one with the smaller tabs right there I am putting that in the back for me because that's how I want it all right there we go oh we forgot to put this in okay that's not a problem this is easy this is our our closure and, oh and what a lucky thing the blue goes great with the butterfly material right all right so let's put that through there that is easy. And then that comes around. Now, what do I do with it now? I have a cool little book. I gotta trim my edges here. Um, do I leave it like it is? Or do I do more to it? What do I do? Well, I could take I could take some ribbon or some lace and I could put it, I could glue that on there. Be careful of your seam, just like that. I could Put, I don't know um, some other material or something on it I, I think I'm just gonna leave it just like it is because I'm gonna leave it plain it's going in my bag I don't want too much to deal with so I don't want too much that's gonna come off or get rubs so there you go so there are two travel notebooks that we took a degree up so if you go with cost uh, the notebook itself is $1.25 um, one sheet of these, well, two sheets of these because we cut them in half, is $1.25. So half of that. And then the calendar. But then remember, you also have an extra one of these to do something else with. And I have an idea about something else we might do with that. So, um, so what was that? $2.50 and $3.25 roughly so under five dollars um, this one a little bit more because we kept the second post-it note in there so maybe four dollars on this one and some material I already had at home all right there you go that's it now keep your extra notebook that you take out because if you run across any of these see I got them at Walmart on clearance for 25 cents um, but if you have any of these floating around, I think we're going to try and make something with these. And you can find these at Dollar Tree sometimes. You can find them at Walmart. You can find them at all kinds of places. But the notebook fits beautifully inside there. 
So I think we're going to try and make something with this maybe next video. All right, so come back and see how that looks. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give me thumbs up. I'd so appreciate it. And please consider subscribing to the channel. I would love to have you. And I'll see you next time. Bye.